in some rock. Uh, Ezra, what do you think is, what is globalization to you? What does globalization mean to you? What kind of culture do you think in the globalized world? What kind of culture are people following a lot? Your products? When you said Western culture, what do you mean by Western culture? Globalization. 
but also the culture, other cultures we said in the US they're using more Korean products these days. K-pop, spreading out over Asia. Is that a positive thing? K-pop, spreading over the world? Good for the world or bad for the world? Good, why? <laughs> Korean, so I'm I'm curious what's good about K pop. <coughs> they earn money for the Korean economy. But what's good for the other countries that get the culture of K pop? They can dress like K pop. <laughs> they, like <laughs> they can have fun. <laughs> how? How can you have fun? Something? <laughs> the K pop? <laughs> You dance the K-pop? <laughs> What's your favorite K-pop song? What's your favorite K-pop song? EXO? Put on YouTube and you can dance. You know EXO? It's fun, it's fun, right? <laughs> I'm too old, right? I'm too old to understand <laughs> why the K-pop is popular. I'm just joking. <laughs> but anyway, you can spread out the culture, right? These days they're using also Korean makeup. Do you think everybody will start eating kimchi? Yes. In the world? Everyone in the world? But spread out? Hmm? Okay, so people adapt to some cultures. Any other advantage of globalization? Unity, no wars, peace, people have more communication, right? So if you know somebody and understand them, you're less likely to fight against them, right? don't know anybody from that culture, we can say, oh, they're strange or they're all wrong. Okay? But actually, if we meet people from the other cultures, we find out there's nice people and not nice people in every country in the world, right? It's the same if you go to any culture or a different country, you can meet nice people and not nice people, right? It's not, are Koreans the best? Hmm? Are Koreans are the best in the world? Huh? All Koreans are great? All Americans are great. No, all Germans are great. Germany is the best. No, right? So it's not like that, right? So we can understand better when we communicate. Any other advantage? Anybody else? Information. So like this development, we can get the information. So we can share information about any, anything, right? If I want to find out about some small health problem or anything, I can check the internet, right? from the Mayo Clinic, I can get the information from the best, better doctors in the world. Okay? I can learn how to cook the food from another country or do a lot of things. We talked about before global standards. Okay? When we make the co industries come together and make the standards. And in the last class we talked about the uh, planning, right? The technology road mapping. The companies get together share their information and try to make the new technology like renewable energy. Okay, anything else? Okay, so we have a large market for companies. So we can have economies of scale and cheaper products. Okay, so uh, just if we think of TV program or movie, now we they just sold the movie in the US, they wouldn't be able to spend 300 million to make the movie and make such a good movie, right? But because the movie is sold all over the world, they can spend a lot of money and make a better movie. Okay? So we have economies of scale. Do you understand economies of scale? If we make one of something, it costs a lot of money. But if we make a million of something, each one costs less to make. 
imagine we just make one car, it costs a million dollars to make. Okay, we have to build. But if we just make the factory, we can make a lot of cars, we can sell them a lot cheaper to people around the world. Okay? Any other advantages? Okay, what about disadvantages? What disadvantages do we have? Arguments, what do you mean? Does globalization cause that kind of problem? You mean like terrorism? Yeah. You know, in the past there were a lot more wars, right? The countries used to fight against each other, right? But these days maybe uh, we have a kind of terrorism problem more than war, okay? Is that really caused by globalization? It's hard to say, right? But maybe before, maybe the Countries fought against each other because of religion, but now just small group, small group of crazy people make terrorism, right? Okay, anything else? Hmm? What's different traits? You lose your culture. So you start going to the movies and eating pizza. Right, I'm going to eat hamburgers every weekend, drinking coffee in the coffee shop. Right, and then you did what kind of Filipino culture did people have traditionally? You always did the same thing. What about a hundred years ago? What did people do in the Philippines? Dancing together as a community. Girls are not allowed to go out, and the clothes is uh, Wear a short, mm -hmm. and if the man sees seashells, they must marry. <laughs> they must marry them. That's okay. What's wrong with that? No, no. <laughs> You're not. Anything? I mean, what did people do? Right? You said it was conservative, conservative yeah. society, right? But what did people do for fun? Did they go out dancing? Yeah. Dancing. Maybe sure. the town, the village was dancing, dancing together. Yeah. Yeah. Does people do that kind of traditional dancing anymore? A little bit. Not everybody is going to the movies. Well, you can lose your culture a little bit, right? What about in Korea? What kind of culture did you lose in Korea? What people don't do anymore? <coughs> what kind of things does people not do anymore? <coughs> Marrying tradition? Clothes? Handle? Hanok, staying in the Hanok. Yeah. What about playing on the seesaw thing? Up and down. Do you still do that? <laughs> yes, you do? Really? When was the last time you did that? Yesterday? No, yeah. All day? Last year? Just one time? Which is better, going to the movies or playing on the... <laughs> Are you sure? When you were a kid, did you hit your head off the ground? Something like that? How long can you play for? One hour? How long can you play that for? Ten minutes. Ten minutes is enough. Alright, so we can gradually lose our culture in the different countries. Ireland changed to English a hundred years ago, so they don't speak Irish, or used to be Irish language. Right? But uh, these days people don't do much dancing, Irish dancing or traditional music. Irish traditional music. Do you guys play tr Korean traditional music? No? No? The finger thing? Can you say the pan, sorry? <laughs> what about you? Can you sing Pansory? No, I've never tried. No. Okay, what about in Kazakhstan? What kind of culture are they losing?
Okay, so what else is negative of uh, globalization? And your negative points? What about competition? More winners and losers? Because of competition? Or maybe some countries' industry is not able to compete well with the other countries' industry, right? So we can have more winners and losers. So if we think of a company that has very good technology and management system, marketing, right? And they come up against a local company who doesn't have that kind of performance. Why? Right? We can have more kind of inequality. So the companies from the winning country can get more, and the countries from the losing country can have less. Right? Anything else? Same what? So you think it's uh, less like losing culture? You have less individualism. It could be a point. Yeah. Less individual cultures, right? People with more similar mindset. Less diversity. Anything else? More risk of all country they take to the countries. Okay, so if countries are all, they can all have one crisis. Global price, we can have global prices. <coughs> Not on effect. Okay, so then let's see a show of hands. Who thinks globalization is more good thing? Hands up. Who thinks globalization is more bad thing? Hands up. Okay, so most people agree that globalization is is overall is positive, but that's why we have a lot of more free trade agreements and kind of thing. But some people still stress that we need to improve. We need to improve some things like globalization. Right? And multinational corporations, businesses, is important in globalization. Okay? So we can use systems like our concepts like systems, competition, and connectivity. So we've mentioned here connectivity and competition. We can understand what globalization is and how it works. A system could be a map of the airplane routes or shipping routes. Do you understand the shipping routes? If we look at the shipping routes, we can see all the ships going trading. We can understand about the trade, right? All the ships moving all over the world. Or the tourism. People uh, visiting different countries. Okay, to travel on the airplanes. Okay, we can look at the undersea cables. We can see all the connection around the world and the countries. Facebook is communications. So some people have different opinions about globalization. Some people see it. It's a process that promotes profits, allows more profits for businesses. Some people think it means that we're uh, being more surveillance by intelligence agencies. Do you understand surveillance? Surveillance means watching. Surveilling is watching. We have surveillance camera, which watches people, what they're doing. Some people think that we need globalization because we have to work together to stop the deforestation or losing all the fish, right? We talked about the environment. So if we don't work together, we can lose all those things. We talked before about how the mammoth, the Neanderthals before the humans, they killed all the mammoths. They didn't have the system to work together to save all. They just kept killing all the mammoths, and then they lost all their food source and that kind of thing, right? So we need the globalization to, for regulations to make sure the world is going properly. So after World War II, we had more globalization. We talked about before World War II, we had the empire, age of empires, right? After World War II, it's more globalization. So before that time, they had a lot of competition between the different empires, economic competitions. But nowadays, we have more international arrangements and cooperation. Okay? Uh, the UN was set up after World War II. All the countries come to the UN, meet together, discuss about the problems. Okay? The UN made some treaties. Do you understand treaties? 
treaty is a legal agreement between the countries about the environment, about uh, war, about nuclear weapons. You understand nuclear weapons? About all of those things. Okay, so the UN was a very important institution. We also have the IMF and the World Bank. Do you understand the IMF? What does it do? Loads money in return for conditions to countries which have economic problems. The World Bank, what does the World Bank do? Prints all the money in the world. What does the World Bank do? No? The name is a little bit unusual. World Bank sounds like it's kind of a bank for the world, but really it's a development bank. It gives loans to developing countries to develop their education and health and so on. Okay? So the World Bank, maybe not in Korea anymore. Korea doesn't really need those kind of development loans as much because it's a not developing country. But the World Bank is still present in many different emerging economies, giving loans for those things. Okay? So that's a nice idea, right? The world get together, put their money together, and give the loan to help the other countries to develop. Okay? One problem about these kind of institutions, not so much the UN, but the IMF and the World Bank, is because they were set up after World War II, they have very post-World War II structure. Okay? For example, the IMF, the president is always from Europe. Okay? And the number two is always from the US. The World Bank, the president is always from the US. Is that a fair system? No. Who decides?